All right, today's video is about the stuff taxpayer getting arrested for recording his own phone call to the mayor. I believe this is Pennsylvania. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I'm I'm just coming over being sick and I'm maybe not 100% right now, but I've been promising to get this video out, so I'm going to get this video out. Now, the, the video you're going to see is overlaced with uh, an audio. The audio is of the phone call from the, that he made to the mayor, and that phone call hot recorded, and that's why the mayor and the police chief had him arrested. Now, I don't know if the mayor got in touch with the police chief or if the police chief found out about it and got in touch with the mayor and they conspired to falsely arrest him. But there it's a two-party state for audio recording, but that doesn't apply to the government. And, you know, this is what happens when you, when public servants become public enemy. And and that's what this basically is about. When they will do stuff like this, what will they not stop? Because they don't, the, the, the two-party thing does not apply to the government servants. They're not our masters. They are our servants. So I'm going to get on with the video and let you all decide. No. Hi, Mr. Hurley. This is Darren Fawler, the mayor. Yes, how you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? I have a message to give you a call. Yep, another day, another quarter here. All right, yeah, I hear you. What's going on? Um, I have an issue with the uh, First Amendment in the police, uh, public lobby of the police station. In the, in the what? I'm sorry? The First Amendment... Oh, Yes. Okay. There's a sign there that said no cameras and no cell phones, whatever, allowed in the public lobby. <clears throat> but the public lobby. Um, I have YouTube. No, it's, it's, the, it's the police station. But anyway, go ahead. I have a YouTube channel called Pissed Off Taxpayer where I film public officials. I hold them accountable for their actions. And I was arrested for exercising my rights in the public lobby of the United States Police Office and I was arrested and they, and they took my phone. Well, I got a letter... Go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. You tell me. Okay, well, I got a letter from them saying that my phone's ready to be picked up. Okay. So I went out to pick up the phone and they knew I would be recording. Well, that sign okay. was... In, I was in there before, and that sign was in there before. Oh, yeah. And okay. so I went down there and picked up my phone. Police! And recording. Search warrant! And I told them if I don't stop recording, they go back to trespassing. Which they did. Okay. They arrested me. They did. Or not? They did. Yeah. When was this? This was Police! January Search of warrant! 2018. Well, the re according to the law, I can only be arrested for trespassing if I broke a law for trespassing. Well, there is no law. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not an attorney, so I don't, I'm not, that I wouldn't be able to answer. Okay. Alright, anyway, yeah, go ahead, keep going. Well, it went all the way to the Superior Court, and yeah. of course, the Superior Court ruled against me. Ruled against you? Yeah. Oh, he did, I, mean, I don't know. What, what, what do you, I mean, there's nothing, I can't, like, I don't have power over the court. So if they did that, I have to follow the court order. Like, I can't, 
I'm not well, you know, over top of a superior court judge. Yes, I understand that. Yeah. So if the superior court ruled against you, you're just going to have to go back to your attorney to file an appeal? I didn't have time to. I only had 30 days, and my attorney wanted $4,000 to take it higher, and I couldn't afford that. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, there's nothing. I. I I would have to, I have to adhere to whatever the Superior Court said. Well, they were wrong, too, but like I said, I couldn't take any higher. Right. Um, yeah, I don't, it, yeah, even if, if you're saying that they were wrong and you wanted to fight that, that you'd have to take it higher. Is it too late? Yeah, to or my, my, my executive assistant here with, with me, she said that you could also appeal it by yourself, pro se, if you wanted to go that route. Is it too late now? Because, I mean... I have, I have no idea. I'm not an attorney. You'd have to... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't I have any idea on limitations or any of that. You'd have to reach out to them. You'd have to reach back out to the Superior Court and ask them about limitations. I don't I don't know. I, w I don't know the answer to that one. I still think that sign is wrong because taking someone's uh, rights away in a public lobby is just wrong. Right. The, the public lobby would be out front. That's our police station. Yeah, on the, in, on, on the inside. The public lobby on the inside. Right. I know what you're saying, but this went to the, the Superior Court. It upheld it, and so you have to go through there if you want to appeal it. There's nothing you can do. I mean, you can't go take that sign down. There's nothing I cannot do with Superior Court. I cannot do the Superior Court. No, I don't. I, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay? So, in other words, Pennsylvania abolishing. Now, I want to clarify something here. The court case wasn't about the sign being legal or not legal, it was about trespassing. And right or wrong of it, this video is about being arrested. For video, I mean audio recording, your own phone call to a public servant. So the rest really doesn't matter. Pot really didn't do the greatest job of explaining himself, but that's okay. I think the video tells us a lot here. It's the First Amendment. Pretty much what you're telling me. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting from because. I mean, I was going to win Pennsylvania the abolished the uh, Pennsylvania Constitution and the uh, United States Constitution. They did not, but that's something, again, you'd have to, as I'm saying, I'm not an attorney, you'd have to talk to your attorney about that. Or represent yourself pro se. Okay. Or call the state representative or, you know, Congressman Keller. Congressman Keller? I mean, that's another option if you're saying, you know, if you think the Constitution, if you want to talk about the state Constitution, you can call Senator Yaw or Representative Whelan if you want to ask about the United States Constitution. You can call, you know, Senator Toomey or Senator Casey or Congressman Keller. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, so there you go. Uh, you know, what can I say? Uh, I'm going to leave a link to the boss channel, pissed off taxpayer. I'll leave a link here and you can go check out his other videos and discussions or when you get police and mayors that could care less about the laws and the Constitution, and I, because I think this is all about pot does not conform to what they want. He doesn't kiss their butts. He, they're not special to him. And that's what this is about, I believe. Now, the mayor, the mayor didn't sound like a jerk, but I I suspect maybe that the, it was the police that went to him, but I don't know. Either way, it's 
I think that the mayor of most towns can probably fire the police, mayor and city council, but I don't see any of that. All right, this is PNP News. I'm out of here. Take care next time.